Well, if you want to plan a trip for the summer or fall, now is a good time to do it. Especially to get away from the uh, snow. But given the pandemic, travel agents say there's a few things to consider before you book your trip. Our Lauren Edwards shares their advice. So if you are anything like me, you are ready to ditch all the snow outside, get on a plane and go. You even got your clothes folded and stacked, extra masks handy. But you know what, guys, there's still a pandemic going on. And so I reached out to a few travel agents and they were saying there's some things we need to consider before we pack anything. I'm constantly checking the CDC guidelines. It's driving me crazy, but I think I should know it like front and back by now. Vicki Legrone spending lots of her time these days checking the CDC website for her clients at Genuine Vacation. Business uh, was slow there when the pandemic first hit, but now business is beginning to pick up for the third quarter and beyond. That's summer and fall and bookings are up for spring break too. Travelers are planning trips both domestically and abroad. A lot of people are traveling the Caribbean, um, Mexico, Aruba, um, but some of the islands are beginning to close their borders again. That's why she recommends travelers check the country's COVID protocols too. Because of the pandemic, so much is changing abroad and here. They just announced uh, January 26 that the U.S. has implemented for international travelers to um, have a negative COVID test 72 hours prior to returning. Because anything can happen on a trip, like catching COVID or just getting sick in general. I myself was out in the San Francisco area north of there with my husband a couple of years ago, and I ended up with a blood clot and ended up in the hospital over the weekend. And I had $60,000 in bills before you could blink an eye. Debbie Haas of AAA says travel insurance took care of all of her out-of-pocket expenses, so she suggests everyone look into it this year and give AAA a call. Travel advisors are answering all sorts of questions from budgeting to hotel cleanliness. And we even work with preferred travel providers who will do guided tours and those folks go ahead and make sure that they've picked venues that are following all the safety guidelines. So that their customers can relax and enjoy their vacations. They suggest booking soon and make checking the CDC website a daily habit. So if there's something on your wish list, go ahead and make a reservation. So if I can offer any sort of advice, considering I've traveled twice during the pandemic, it would be to have your mask on for a few hours a day prior to getting on the plane. It'll help you to get used to wearing your mask for an extended period of time. Reporting for The Rebound, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News. And that beach video really makes you want a vacation, doesn't it? If you know of a person or group helping others get back on their feet during the pandemic, let us know. Call the number on your screen, 447-5116, or send an email to rebound at fox17online.com.